Edward was approaching a signal. He was thinking about Rocky, and he was going too fast. Suddenly, the signal changed to red. Edward screeched to a stop, but the sides of the trucks collapsed. Steel pipes toppled all over the tracks. Bust my buffers, puffed Edward. He looked at the heavy pipes and wondered what to do. Thomas had said Rocky was very strong. Just then, Thomas and Emily arrived. They saw the pipes. We have to get through, tooted Thomas. Why don't you go and get Rocky? No, no, whistled Edward. Harvey is doing a fine job. We must be patient. I don't like being patient, pouted Emily. We have a very important job to do. Then they heard Gordon. He was going fast. Then there was trouble. Gordon hit the pipes with a loud crunch. He came off the tracks. It was a terrible mess. I can't lift Gordon, sighed Harvey. But there was still one more job to do. Thomas was shunting some freight cars into the yard. He was taking great care, but the track was very bumpy. Suddenly, they started to come off the track. Some of them headed straight for the water tower. The water tower creaked and wobbled. Then it started to tip. The water tower crashed down across the runway. Luckily, no one was hurt. The runway's cracked, cried Percy, and the track is blocked. The airport manager inspected the runway. All the same, he and his driver decided to start home early. Then came trouble. A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. Percy was cross. He was still sticky when he puffed away. Oh dear! Uh, but I can't stop now. I'm already late. My own little old. The load did hold, but not quite long enough. Ah. Crumbs. That's torn it. <gasps> it's Rex. Uh, oh, oh. I said it was easy. I said it was easy. Then everything happened at once. Rex! Rex! Watch out! Slow down! <gasps> Oh, 